Hey man, we got a beautiful Saturday morning. We're at the American Legion in Mooresville, Indiana. Cindy, what's going on today? Well, this is a ride to restore this fire truck behind us, and uh, I think it's a pretty cool idea. They're going to use it for parades, and mm -hmm. you know, they need the funds to be able to restore it. It's it's a pretty old, <laughs> old uh, fire truck. I think it's got really weird wheels on it too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a, there's a lot of stuff that needs to be done. I think it's a 58, I think is what they said, uh, it, but it's, it's just super cool and I love the idea. Obviously, they're not going to raise enough money on one ride to do this. this there's the, there were, they will have, you know, fundraisers throughout the year to, to restore this, but I think it's pretty cool to restore. You know, us old timers, we got to stick together. You know, I need somebody to restore me at some point. Call yourself old. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I'm just saying, I think it's a great idea. So. I know the gang is going to be coming up here for a picture in front of the, the fire truck here. Let's, so let's talk to them, find out a little bit more about how they even got this fire truck. Let's go. Still Horse is brought to you by Leidendorf Law with over 60 years experience in motorcycle and automotive injury cases. So Moby, you put this ride on for this here badass little fire, fire truck um, that's going to be restored, which is pretty cool. I think that that's a great idea to do that. So tell me about it. So this fire truck was in use for many years. Um, we had uh, JJ Mitchell was a Monrovia fire chief and he had put this thing together. They actually obtained it from Brooklyn Fire Department and uh, we used it around the community for, for different parades, for uh, pioneer days. Um, ev everybody was welcome to use the fire truck. It's just uh, once JJ passed away, um, people just kind of let it go. We didn't have a good storage place for it. So as you see, it's it sat out here and got in pretty bad shape. So uh, Miguel Onge, he's a firefighter that's one of our riders. He, he brought it to my attention that he would like to restore it and get it back on the road because it's a piece of a great history and it'd be a great dedication to JJ's memory. So big shout out to Leidendorf Law personal injury lawyer. If you ever need them, I hope you never do, but if you do need them, they're the ones you need to call. Leidendorf Law, they have been a sponsor of this show for 15, 20 years now, and they've done an awful lot for the motorcycle community, so make sure you give them a call. Leidendorf Law, they're like family, because they are. All right, we are out here at the American Legion in Mooresville. This is a really cool, unique ride. Um, it, it's one where we can actually be smiling and happy because it's not a sad occasion and so many rides it's for a very sad occasion. This one is kind of cool. You're going to you're going to give an old an old girl a, a facelift. Yeah, we're we're trying to. This is a nine, 1957 Ford um, that used to belong to the Brooklyn Fire Department and it was donated here to the Legion about uh, 7 or 8 years ago. And uh, it's falling in this repair and I'm a professional firefighter in Indianapolis and it just broke my heart to see it, you know, that beauty fall into this repair like that. So we started talking um, to the other entities in the Legion, and they gave us permission to try to bring her back to her old form. Um, we've contacted the Brooklyn Fire Department. They're behind us all the way. The owner of the vehicle who donated it to us uh, behind us all the way. So it, we have a lot of people behind us on this. We're trying to get going to buy tires to get it to move, brakes to get it to stop, and uh, the, then work on the motor and then work on the body. Um, my firefighters in my firehouse are very interested in restoring the, the brass and, and bringing the hose beds and stuff back to its old glory. So, yeah, we my guys are, are pretty good guys. So, and all these guys right here, they're out here today in this cold morning that shows you their dedication right. to, to this. So. I saw you guys lifting up the hood and looking under it and everything else. I don't know if it runs or not, but it's pretty cool. Yeah, it is awesome. Um, I recall when I first joined the Legion, we would use it to uh, escort Santa Claus would ride on there when we'd have our kids Christmas, and it was really cool. We'd escort them in with the bikes, and, and the kids just really loved it. So now we've been depending on a local fire station to do that for us, but to have this piece of history doing that would just yeah. be awesome. Okay, I noticed that your hair is so perfect. Is it really going to be this perfect when you get off the bike today? No, absolutely not. <laughs> I love it, though. I love it. You come out here, and you're all nice and dolled up, and, you know, you get on the bike and ride, and damn, that, ha that yeah, hair. <laughs> right? I know. I brought a brush, just to be yeah. sure. <laughs> it's going to be really tangled, though. You know that. Yes, I do. <laughs>
Hey, big shout out to Crambo's out in Greencastle. Man, if you're looking for paint work, mechanical work, or accessories, they have everything you need out in Greencastle. It's Crambo's. You know what they say, they'll get you noticed. Hey, man, once again, we are on location to do a Facebook Live on a Monday night, and again, it's chance of rain. It has happened every time we have done on location on Monday night. But we're in a pretty special place today. Cindy, where are we at? We're at Heavy's Bar and Grill, and this place is so near and dear to us because of the of the bike nights we did here. The bike nights were always so wonderful. We had a great time. And, you know, tonight it's, it is it is pretty special. Heavy's has changed a bunch since then. It's a lot bigger now. So tell me a little bit about this uh, revamp. We're, uh, we're, we're working on our one year anniversary, actually, the mid-October mid is when we expanded. Actually, where we're standing right now used to be an hospice eye care center. Uh, <laughs> knocked the wall out here, uh, expanded everything, kind of flip-flop stuff, uh, put the pool tables over where the dining room used to be, um, brought the uh, tables over here into the, um, the new area. Um, we got the DJ booth behind us, uh, more seating, trying to make it more of a sports bar. Uh, we added a bunch of TVs, uh, big screens, um, just a little bit more elbow room because especially when you get in here and you get a lot of people, uh, people start bumping into each other. So a lot of people really appreciate the fact that they have more room to sit down, relax, enjoy their dinner, enjoy their drinks, and then uh, get up and kind of commute, talk to people while they're here. So. Yeah, and you guys were smart enough to say, you know what, if we're going to make the place this much bigger, we need another bathroom too. Oh. And you got, you, and you guys put another bathroom, you got a whole other bar that's over here on this side. Yeah. It's just really amazing the way you guys did all this. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, my mom, she, um, she kind of laid everything out, made a little bit of a format, a floor, floor plan if you want to call it. Uh, we did add the sidebar, uh, added two extra restrooms, which especially when we get crowded, that helps just to, you have the restroom on this side, the restroom on this side now. Um, I'll tell you right now, uh, the ladies love the new restroom. It's like a Vegas restroom. You just put your hands under the sink and then, you know, but us guys, we get the same old, here's your stall and then go to the bathroom. <laughs> Well, that's all right. You got to keep it good for the ladies. You got to get, you know, guys don't care. Guys, we'll go, we'll go pee out in the parking lot. We really just don't care. We lost our daughter 14 years ago, and Kyle and Deb was very nice to help us with our motorcycle ride to raise money for her scholarship. So uh, we actually started off here that year. Um, so it's been nice, um, and we need to continue. But it's great. We love this bar. Exactly. What's your favorite food item? The pizza. Well, and the mushrooms. But pizza's the best. Yeah, I'm not big on mushrooms. I mean, not these kind of pizza, mushrooms. Pizza, pizza. <laughs> there, are, love, there are some. But. We love pizza, and we love when Jill is cooking. We've known Jill for years, and, you know, maybe we get favorite pizza, or maybe we just get the normal pizza, but we love the pizza, and we love Jill. <laughs> <laughs> well, right on. Thanks for talking to us. Thank you. Of course. I wouldn't have it any other way. So uh, we revamped our food menu. Um, everybody needs to come in and check that out. We got some new appetizers. The pork egg rolls, the veggie egg rolls are really good. We're still doing our prime rib on Friday nights. Um, that's a big seller. Uh, our pizzas are always a big seller. Uh, we've added a couple new wraps. Just revamped the whole menu in general. Um, so that's something a lot of people can come in. The one thing that I've worked at different bars um, throughout the last 20 years of my life. The one great thing about Heavy's is we do a lot of fresh foods. We hand patty our burgers, we, we beat out our tenderloins, you know, we do a prime rib. It's not like a frozen burger that you just throw on the grill. We're, we're putting some love into it for our customers and a lot of people really enjoy the fact that they can come in here and get a good quality meal for a reasonable price.